Today's video was absolutely insane. There is a serious rat infestation over at my grandpa Al's house. Something was making noise in the garage, a tweaky sound, uh, squeakies. I'm gonna all open right. the garage, let's go one, two. Look see. at all of this poop here. I load the peanut butter right here into the trap. And, I'm I mean, look, there's something in this trap too. What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, I'm Jacob. That right there is Theo, you, Theo. This right here is Theo Jr., my capuchin monkey. And if you guys saw the title and thumbnail, you will know for today's video that today's video was absolutely insane. There is a serious rat infestation over at my Grandpa Al's house. You guys know Grandpa Al. You guys absolutely love Grandpa Al. We haven't had Grandpa Al on the channel in quite a while. It may, it may be even be a year or so. You guys have been asking to see Grandpa Al, and Grandpa Al just gave me a call the other day about this rat infestation. That is all I'm going to tell you about that. So if you guys want to know what's up with this rat infestation, where these rats are, what the heck is going on, how we're going to solve this problem. Well, guys, you are in the right place, but before we can do that, I have a special message from today's sponsor. And before we go any further with today's video, well, I just want to give a special thank you to Haybike for sponsoring today's video. Haybike just sent me their brand new Ranger S e-bike. I haven't even unboxed it yet. It just got here. So we've got it right here. So let's stop talking about this bike. Let's unbox it and see what this thing can do. So I've got the box completely flipped and we're just going to open this on up right now. Cut right here and we're going to cut right down there. And just kind of open up just like this. Look at that. Okay, this thing looks sick. What's really cool about this that you guys can already see is this bike is completely foldable. You can store it really easily, you can travel with it really easily, but let's get this thing unboxed in and see what it can do. One hour later. So I just spent the past hour assembling the Ranger S hay bike, and here it is. This is honestly the sickest electric bike that I've ever seen, that I've ever used. Check this thing out. So first of all, look at the color. We got sharp gray which is so sick. The finish that they got on the bike is just so clean. It's like this really nice color and it's really just got a smooth finish and the welding job is really nice. So I know I got a secure bike that's not gonna fall apart. You can see how clean the welds are when they actually bonded the metals together. What's really cool too is it has a removable battery so you can just twist the key and the battery comes out so you can travel with extra batteries. You gotta take it out to charge it. So we're gonna pop this baby in right now. One, two, three, we put it in. Now we have our gear controls. So we got our power, we've got our pedal assist up, we've got our pedal assist down, we also have our And the Ranger S also has Shimano 7 speed gear, so depending on the type of the terrain you're going in, you can switch gears. We also have our display, so we're going to hold our power button, and we've got our display on. Now it's really cool and different from the hay bike compared to any other e-bike. It's the hay bike actually connects right to your phone, which is really nice and convenient. You can check your battery, you can see how fast you're going, you can see your mileage. So we've got our turn signals. So right now, if we put our turn signal to the left you can see that it starts blinking to the left we've got our light as well so you can take this bad boy off-roading at nighttime I'm definitely gonna be taking this Python honey you can see it's actually got a pretty bright light on it which is really nice and you get the blinkers right in the front this bad boy is rocking a 750 watt motor which is gonna allow you to go up to 28 miles per hour on the bike which you're gonna get to go 28 miles an hour and if you're going pure electric you're gonna get 31 to 40 miles of range and if you're going on pedal assist, which basically means when you're pedaling, it's going to boost you. You're going to get 34 to 55 miles of range. So guys, let's test this thing out. First time on the Ranger S. Let's go. And look at this. This is sick. Woo! And look who I picked up along the way. I picked up Theo Jr., my capuchin monkey. This bike is so great for cruising around the farm, hanging out with your animals, and it's got the really convenient basket, which my camera's on right now, so you can mount your GoPros to it. You can have your monkeys on it. You can have your dogs, your cats. Whatever animals you have, well, the hay bike can do it all. And if you guys want to get your very own hay bike, well, all you have to do is go right now and click the link in the description. And now that all of you got to hear all about hay bike, well, it is time to hop into today's rat infestation. So I just got here to my grandma and grandpa's house and you guys all know Grandma Pat and Grandpa Al. Grandpa Al has been on the channel for quite some time. I love having Grandpa Al a part of the videos. I know all of you guys too. This is the garage right here that Grandpa Al told me. He's seeing some critters, he's hearing some stuff in, but the garage is closed up right now. So whatever's in there could be trapped. But first, we gotta find Grandpa Al. Grandpa Al's normally hanging out over in his man cave right over there, but I don't see him. Grandpa! Grandpa, I don't see him. Oh, there he is. There he is, the man 
The myth. The legend, Grandpa Al. Oh, you're hey. It. You're not in your man cave like you normally are. Hey, you know what, Jay? I didn't even know you were coming over. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I know. I'm out here just kind of trying to get a little fresh air. We had some sun. A little sun. bit of fresh air? Yeah, we had some sun a little while ago, but now it's already overcast, but it's still very pleasant. Yeah. I haven't, uh, I haven't had much time to get much things done around here lately because of been a little bit under the weather, yeah. but it's certainly good to see you. I haven't seen hey, you. My gosh, it's good it to seems see. like it's forever. It seems like uh, my goodness. Uh, I didn't. I thought I lost my grandson for a while. I, I know, but hey, hey, here you are. I'm here now. Yeah, you are. I'm here now. All right, cool. All right, so I know why I'm here, but I don't know I don't, what the, I don't well, know what the heck I'm dealing with. I don't really know why you're here either, other than the fact that you know that we had some things happening uh, in, in in my garage area. Uh, and my wife was telling me she's been, you know, she does the wash out there and everything. Uh -huh. And she said something about there was some little noises and tweaks and twings. I don't know what the heck she was talking about. But in the garage. In the garage. And um, something was making noise in the garage, a tweaky sound, a squeaky. I don't know what she was even talking like about. An, like an animal. Well, it could have been an animal. It could have been anything. Until we find out what it is, we don't okay. know. All right. And uh, actually... She says she hears uh, uh -huh. little shrinking noises in our vent, maybe. So noises I, in the vent, yeah. like 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 something walking well, around in there. I, I don't. I really don't know. I I hope it's not something serious. Yeah. Uh, but there's only one way to find out. All right. So, so and that's go look for it. Find uh, out what it is, and we'll um, we'll go from here. I all guess. right. So I guess we should start at ground zero, the garage. I would think so. That'd be the place to start looking. So grip. Al and I, we're gonna head over to the garage and we're gonna see what the heck is in there. So we just made it over to the garage door. Wait, Grandpa, do you see what I see right there? Do you see that hole there? Yeah. You see that gap right there? That There yeah. could definitely be an animal yeah, that's, a little. that's getting at, into there. Uh, well, I didn't, you know, that's been there for a long time, so gosh knows what's going through. Could have gone through there. Yeah, so wait. I do. Oh, here too, look. Right here, there's another gap where any kind of an animal could get through. Well, I believe that, but you know, we've got said I had a frog in here one time. A frog? Yeah, and, and there and took me the longest time to get it out. Yeah. Uh, but he, he's not in there now. Yeah, and then right over oh, here, I... this area, this is, oh wait, yeah, this is a, that, yeah, that, that's a know. big hole, like de yeah. definitely frogs, rats, well, mice, I don't, I don't yeah, even, well, roaches? Yeah, well. Snakes? Well, I think but... there could be a python. You think there's a python? Wait, 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 wait. You think there could be a python in your garage? Uh, hey, hey, hey. I don't I, Look, when you get over my garage, it could be anything in anything there. Anything in there? All anything right. in there. All right. And uh, wait till you see what's in there. I don't, do I want to I mean, see wait till you see how that garage is set well, up. Well, let me, let me open this up. So I'm going right. to open the garage. Let's go one, two. One handed. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, my. I almost destroyed the garage door. I, was, I wasn't expecting that, but oh my gosh! I mean, I bet I've grown. I've been in here for for a while. Well, now you see. There's this is new. Trying to get rid of a bunch of junk here. I don't know. But look, Grandpa, look. You see what I see? I don't look see. at all of this poop here. Yeah, There's a million that. turds here from some kind of an animal. So we're already seeing poop. Wow. I, I think this is your animal. Whatever you heard is this. So we got one, two, three. I it, see you that. You can see. Wow. Look, and it's old. You can see that when you step on it. It's yeah. literally like powder. Oh, oh. oh, there's another one right. Wait. Should I smell it? No. Wait. Okay, I'm going to see. You gotta I'm going to see. I'm gonna see. <laughs> oh, wait. it doesn't smell like anything. All right. So why don't we take a look on there? Let's look for some evidence. So I guess right over here is where you saw it. You said over by the, the well, vent? Well, you know, you hear these noises in there, and I mean... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe, uh, maybe we should be quiet right now. Maybe we should be quiet. Wait. Anywhere. Wait. All this mess. Wait, shh, shh, shh. Wait, shh. Wait. You hear that? I, I hear that. You hear that little noise? Something, yeah. There's like a little... I don't know where, what it could have been. There's like... It sounds like it's coming from over here. So, it, we're definitely dealing with some kind of an animal that is in here. Now the real question is how the heck are we going to find it because there's a lot of stuff in this garage. We're getting ready to toss all this stuff, but what do you have in here? Everything. Everything? Yeah, everything you can think of. Okay. All right, let's head on in. But look, there's more of this poop right here. There's more. Really? Wait, I hear it. It's Wait. I hear I think it's I think it's in here. No. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, not Okay, there's nothing in here. 
Honestly, I don't know how it would get in here. This is completely sealed. Oh, right here. I heard something. I heard it. I heard it. I just heard it. Something's wrong. Something is running around. Something oh, tiny. Really? Tiny. Something tiny. I heard something too. Where else have you been hearing this? Well, over there in the corner, and my, like I said, my wife was heard some noise that she could have been in the vents. I don't know, uh, but let's find out where it is. Okay, so let's take a look. I mean, do you think we're gonna find it just by looking? No, I don't know. I have no idea. Grandpa has no idea. But the real question is, what the heck is lurking in my grandma and grandpa's garage? So guys, comment down below. What the heck do you think is in here? I see more poop going here. It's like a trail leading to the back of the garage. We got grandpa's old scuba diving equipment. We've got every kind of tool you could possibly think of. We got a deer antler. All right, we're just gonna keep walking and see. And then there's looks like there's termite dust. Oh my gosh, look. There's termite dust everywhere. We're just gonna keep on walking. I think there's something over here. So I'm not seeing anything in the garage and quite honestly, Grandpa, I think it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, yeah. trying to pillage around in here Maybe. and see. But I did bring some traps. I brought three traps. I bought two mice traps and then two like mini animal traps. Well, I figured you'd bring the right things you oh, need oh, to catch course. something, whatever. So let's go get the traps and let's catch this animal. Yeah. So right in here, we have got our traps. You see, oh, look what I brought. Look at that. So I brought a mini live animal trap right here, that. like a mini trap, and I've got these two rat traps. Have you seen these before? Never seen one look, like that. Look, you go like this, and it's set. So watch this now that it's set. You're gonna go like this, and wow, isn't that nice? Wow, this thing's pretty good, and it's reusable. And all you gotta do is you put the bait in the you put the bait yeah, in the I center, see that. and then you just click it. I've never seen don't a touch, rat don't, trap this like thing that. Will, this will break your finger. So. We've got our traps. We've got three different traps right here. We're gonna probably bait all of them with peanut butter. So I think we should go set the traps, right? All right, let's do it. All right, let's go, baby. Let's go. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so we got our bait and today's bait is going to be peanut butter. I honestly have not used peanut butter in a while. Let's load our trap right now. So we gotta get some peanut butter right now because the good thing about peanut butter is it's sticky. So the rats are gonna have to sit here and they're gonna have to sit here and lick the peanut butter. So I'm actually gonna load the peanut butter right here into the trap and I'm kinda just gonna press it down so it's kinda compacted. So we're gonna do that on the first trap and we're gonna do that on the second rat trap right here. If you guys have been following the channel, you know we've caught a lot of rats with these traps. They actually work great. You can get them at Home Depot. So we got our peanut butter in on this trap. And then now that we got our peanut butter in, we're actually gonna be using this plate inside of this little trap right here. So open this trap on up and we're gonna stick our hand right to the back right here. And we're gonna leave our peanut butter right there on the ramp. So we're gonna load this trap in just a second. So we've got all of our traps. We got three different traps, but the real question is, are we gonna catch anything at all? I'm honestly not even sure what we're dealing with, but we gotta load these traps right now. So we're just gonna pull this on back just like this. We've got our teeth loaded up here and we've got one more trap just like that. So now that all three traps are loaded, well, let's go set them. So Grandpa Al left me in charge of setting the traps and putting them out. So again, we got three traps. So I'm thinking we're gonna put the first trap right here at the entrance of the garage right here is where this kind of hole is where animals can come in and out so we've got our first trap set right here so hopefully in the morning we're gonna have something in there because normally these traps take you know several hours to work and it'll take overnight so let's head on in and we're gonna go right on over this way and set another trap i'm thinking i'm thinking right here is where we're gonna set this trap right here so and perfect i just got the trap set took a while this trap is extremely sensitive so we're gonna put one right here behind the laundry where I heard some noise. So we're gonna move this stuff out of the way. And we've got our second trap set right here. So we got trap number three, we got trap number two set. Now we're gonna head to the other side and set our third and final trap. So right over this way is where I saw some more evidence where I see a lot of termite dust where I think some animals might wanna hang out like all up in this junk. So I'm gonna take this last trap and I'm gonna kinda put it right over here in this corner right there. So we got one trap here We've got another one there and another one on the other side of the garage. So I think we're pretty covered here. I think if there's any kind of an animal lurking around at night, looking for food, looking for cover, well, I think those traps, I think they're gonna work perfect. So now that all of our traps are set, we are gonna close the garage doors down right now. We're gonna close it on down, see what we can find. And let's get it on now. One, two, three. The garage door is shut. Now it is time for the waiting game. Grandpa Al is inside. I'm gonna go see Grandpa Al and I will be back tomorrow so we can check the traps. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. We're back at Grandpa Al's house. We are ready to check our traps, guys. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Hey. 
Hey, hey, what's, hey, what's going what's on? Hey, hey. I'm, I'm here to. I'm, we're here to check traps. Well, I hope so. I was more to death. What's going on in uh -huh. there? But they, I'm, I'm. They got glad. no idea what's going on. I know. I just I'm, got here. I, I'm anxious to see if we've caught anything or not. So we All better right. open up the garage door. All right, door. let's go. Let's go. As you guys know, we set traps last night. We're here to check them back again. So we got to open up the garage. You ready? Guys, come here. Right, let's go. Let's what go. the heck? All right, come on. Come on. Let's let's open this up. Let's go. One, two, three. All right, we're lifting the garage. The garage is on. Okay, we got. Wait, our first trap. Look at that. What is that? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Oh man. Doesn't even look touched. This trap. Does, does anyone want to touch it? No way. No, sure. Okay. You I'm sure? Good. You sure? Hey, yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna leave this trap over here for again for tomorrow night, and we got our trap over here. Uh, there's something in it. Oh no. Yes. Oh yeah. Look. Oh That's my crazy. god. Look. Oh, no yeah. way. Oh, there shit. is two, two mice. Look at these guys are going crazy. Look at them. Look at them. They wanna. Look at them. Look what we got. Yeah. Look, there's two. We got a two for one, baby. Oh. Do you see? Look what we caught. You see wow, I hate either. these Mises to pieces. You want to hold them? <laughs> Here, hold them. All right, I got it. I yeah, hate well. these Mises to pieces, I'm telling you. Yeah? Wow. And are, are they active? They are active. And they're eating up a storm. I think we should let them go down the street. What do you I, think? No, um, I think we should take them to the... The Humane Society. The Humane Society? Okay. <laughs> we're going to take the mice to the Humane Society, but we have one more trap. We, Where is we're, it? We're not Where done. Where is it? We're not done. Okay, it's it's uh, it's over here on this side. Where'd you put it? Okay. <laughs> over in this corner. Guys, this is crazy right now. We found, we got a, we got a two for one in one of them. And look, there's something in this trap too. Yeah, but this one, this guy's not so lucky. Okay, let's grab this Man. trap right here. Oh my gosh, we got him. We got him. We got him. Look at it right here. Look. Wow. Look what we got here. That trap worked, it's, man. It's, it's for Whoa, you. you. I don't need that. You can keep the trap. Right, I think we got them all, didn't we? I think we did. So we got one guy in this trap. We we're just going to have one trap set. We're going to put him over here to the side. But Well, we definitely caught what was living in your garage. Well, I want to tell you what, Kay. You did a good job. Hey, and I, thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy that we are rid of those things. Yep. Please. We got the mice in here. Yep. That's it. Yep. We got our mice, but there definitely could be more. Oh, we caught, don't we say three. that. I think you might have an infestation living inside of your house. I think there could be thousands of them. Thousands? I think there could be thousands of mice, but there's only one way to find out. I'm going to go release these guys. We're going to set more traps. And well, that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy <laughs> watching today's video here yeah. at Grandpa Al's house. I we trapped some rats. We did a, we did a good we job. We did a great job. We did a good yeah. job. Hey, well, you're the trap man. You're the trapper. <laughs> No doubt about it. For sure. So again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part of today's video. If you want to see more traps, you want to know how many rats are living inside of Grandpa Al's garage. Well, guys, all you have to do is go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.